Alright, so let's proceed now to our indoor lighting Photoshop tutorial. I have five images here and we will edit all of this or maybe some of this only and I will show you how you will edit these images using only Photoshop. Say for example, the client sent you this image and uh, they ask you to suggest lighting for this room. So you don't need to run a calculation in Dialux because it's just an image. So what you're going to do is using a Photoshop or a photo editing software. And that is one is the Photoshop. And by that, you can easily suggest what the client can do to this living room to make it more beautiful using light. Okay, so there are this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. We will try to edit all of this using Photoshop. Okay, so let's just create some scenario. For example, the client um, asks you to do this. Can you please suggest a good lighting effect to this room? So what you're going to do is edit it, think of the luminary that you're planning to use, and then use it in your Photoshop. Okay, so for planning stage, we will uh, imagine this one. So because this is a very dull room because it has, I think I can see some downlights here. So I think this is okay. But because they are watching on TV, putting or opening a downlight uh, while watching TV is not a good idea because of course it will create glare on the TV, right? So, and also in the ceiling, it doesn't seem to have a downlight or any general lighting. This one, I am not sure if this is a lampshade. Uh, yeah, I think it's a lampshade. So I think this is the only light in this room. So we're going to edit this one and make it glow. All right, so let's do it now. Okay, so I'm going to open this image now. Right click and open with Photoshop. So I'm using Photoshop CS3. If you have higher version, it's okay. Just follow my instructions. Okay, so once you open it, you now have your original image. Just drag here at the new layer. Now you have new copy and then another one because we're going to use the other one as the black background. And then Control L. Okay, let, let me just uh, label it as block. And then Control L. And then we will make this um, image really dark because you you can you can have a better imagination if you have a dark palette okay so uh yeah think of at least you can still see something and but it's all dark and then press okay and then uh go and drag this background copy on the top and then we will first let's start with um which one let's start with the tv okay so what we are going to do is we will put an LD at the back of the TV. So we need to crop the TV and then this one and then light it up. Okay, so let's do it. So what I'm going to do now is cut the TV using, yeah, using this market tool and polygonal. So I already have it. Have it. Okay, space bar to pan like this. Okay, so there you go. Copy and cut the TV. Make sure all the details of the TV. And then once you see the circle, it's okay now to close. Right click and then cut. And then label this one as TV. So you have an idea what is this. And then close. Um, and uh, now it's cut. Now let's go and go back to the same background copy and then uh, cut this one. Or maybe we can also add the sides okay let's just have this one first the background copy because we will going to make it glow okay and uh if you have details like this is the problem because if you have lots of details um yeah so what we're going to do is i will just include it here because this is still part of the surface and then right click and then cut then I will layer this, uh, I will label this one as back. Okay, and um, let's go and open it and close this one. So I'm going to glow this back. So press control and click on the thumb and then go to the filter, render, and then lighting effects and select the flashlight. Flashlight, there you go. 
and then expand it like this. So the idea is to make a glow effect on the back of the TV and this flashlight is the only um, uh, rendering image that can produce like that. Okay, you can have this yellow if you want to change it, just click on that and then change. I'm just going to keep this uh, like yellow. Then press OK. Now it's look like this. And then Control D to deselect. And then we were going to have an LED strip here. So create a new layer and then say LED strip. And then use this. Um, you can have a rectangle actually or use a strip. So, but what, what I'm going to do now is just use the rectangle here. And then. Uh, fill it up with white, control alt delete, and then deselect, and then press here at FX and then make it outer glow. So just drag it like outer glow. There you go, it's glowing. And then press OK, just leave it for now. We will check it later if it's okay or not. And then turn on the TV, boom, um, control. Uh, minus to zoom out <laughs> amazing look at that now you have a back tv and if you want more glow just click on the outer glow and then glow more if you like like that okay so it depends on how you want to make it more glow or not so glow okay it looks good so i think this is fine and then click okay so now we have our first LED strip at the back of the tv and then uh, we will proceed with uh, which one? The shelves or the downlights? Okay, I'll see you again on the next lecture. Mm -hmm.